Hello everyone and welcome to Mobile Robotics Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain the basics of a simple controller for controlling the position of a differential drive mobile robot. The goal is to steer the robot center to the desired location represented by the red target over here. The robot starts from this position. Over here you can observe the control error in the X and Y directions. The position control is accomplished by using two controllers. The first controller, called orientation controller, controls the robot's orientation angle theta. The second controller, called the velocity intensity controller, controls the intensity of the robot velocity. From another point of view, we control both the orientation and the intensity of the velocity vector of the robot's center of the mass. The velocity vector is tangent to the trajectory, and by controlling the velocity vector, we control the direction of motion. On the basis of the calculated velocity vector, the controller calculates the left and right angular velocities of the wheels that achieve the desired motion. We implemented the robot controller in Python and we generated this beautiful animation by using Pygame. There are three important cases that I would like to illustrate. In the first case that you're currently watching, the gain of the orientation controller is relatively small. Consequently, the robot's trajectory looks like this. It is not the shortest trajectory from the start to the target. And here is the second case. In the second case, compared to the first case, the gain of the orientation controller is increased. And consequently, we have a very nice and direct path to the target. Let's see again what's happening initially. Here's what is happening initially. We can immediately see that the robot is rotating and it achieves the desired direction and then it moves along this direction and that's it. So initially the orientation is adjusted. That is we find the proper line and we go and we follow that line. And finally, in the third case that you're currently watching, compared to the second case, we increase the gain of the velocity intensity controller. As a result, we obtained faster response, however, the trajectory is not direct anymore. In the first tutorial that you're currently watching, we will explain how to mathematically derive the controller and we will explain the main equations necessary to implement the controller in Python. There is a second part of this tutorial that explains how to implement and simulate the controller in Python. However, the second part of the tutorial, as well as the Python code files, are not publicly available. But before I start with the explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this tutorial, as well as more than 400 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. Consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Over here, for completeness of this video tutorial, I will first briefly summarize the kinematics diagram and the main differential equations describing the kinematics of the differential drive robot. For more details and the complete derivation of the kinematics of the robot, see my previous tutorial. A link to that tutorial is given in the description below this video. This is the top view of our robot. We have two wheels, left wheel and the right wheel, as well as the robot base. X and Y are the translational coordinates of the body frame attached to the point B with respect to the inertial frame x, y. Theta is the angle of rotation of the robot, which is at the same time the angle between the body frame B and the inertial frame x, y. x, b and y, b are the coordinates in the body frame and at the same time they denote the axis of the body frame. C is the instantaneous center of rotation. Omega, or theta dot, is the instantaneous angular velocity of the robot body. 
L, that is, this point over here, is the center point of the left wheel. Similarly, R, or the point over here, is the center point of the right wheel. B is the middle point between the points L and R along this line. VL is the velocity of the center of the left wheel, VR is the velocity of the center of the right wheel, and VB is the velocity of the point B. This quantity over here, file dot, is the angular velocity of the left wheel. Similarly, this quantity over here, phi r dot, is the angular velocity of the right wheel. L is the distance between the point B and the point C. R is the radius of the wheels, and the S quantity is the distance between the points L and R. Finally, x dot is the projection of the velocity VB on the x-axis and y dot is the projection of the velocity VB on the y-axis, that is, on the inertial axis. Over here, it's very important to keep in mind that we control the robot's motion by controlling left and right wheel angular velocities, that is, by controlling phi L dot and by controlling phi R dot. In my previous tutorial, whose link is given in the description below this video, I derive a set of differential equations describing the kinematics of a differential drive robot. And here is the system. Phi L dot and phi R dot are the control variables. And let us assume that they are known, that is, that they are computed. Then, for known values of these two quantities, we can integrate these equations to compute x as a function of time, y as a function of time, and theta as a function of time. That is, we can compute the position of the robot and the orientation angle. In the sequel, we formulate the control problem. Let xd and yd be the x and y coordinates of the desired location of the robot center B. That is, we want to move the point B or the robot center to the location given by the point D. Then, the control objective is to determine a sequence of wheel angular velocities phi L dot and phi R dot such that the current robot position given by x of t and y of t is equal to x d of t and y d of t. Here, we assume that at any time instant, we can precisely measure the robot position x of t, y of t, as well as the robot's orientation angle theta of t. Over here, one very important geometrical observation should be made. The velocity vector vb is tangent to the robot's trajectory. Also, during a small time interval, this is the direction of the motion of the robot. To arrive at the target D, we want to rotate this velocity vector such that it is in the direction of the line connecting the points B and D, that is, in the direction of this line. This means that the angle theta quantifying the orientation of the robot should be equal to the angle theta D. And this angle theta d is the angle that this direction line makes with the horizontal axis x. By rotating the velocity vector and by aligning the velocity vector with this line, we will approach this point. Let us mathematically formulate this requirement. By using the current robot's position, we can calculate the desired orientation angle theta d. We can do it by observing this triangle. From this triangle, we can write tangent of theta d is actually equal to this quantity over this quantity, that is yd minus y divided by xd minus x. And from this equation, we obtain that theta d, or the desired orientation angle, is equal to arc tan 2 of this quantity where the notation arctan2 is the modified arctan or the two-argument arctangent function that takes into account the signs of the arguments when computing the angles. 
Our ultimate goal is to make this angle theta to be equal to the angle theta d. How to mathematically formulate this requirement? Well, we can create a proportional controller that will penalize the difference between theta d and the current orientation angle theta. And here is the controller. Over here, k theta is the proportional control gain for orientation control. Let's analyze this equation. When theta d is equal to theta, the right-hand side is equal to 0, and the change of theta, that is theta dot, is equal to 0. This means that theta stays constant, and it's actually equal to theta d. That is, we don't need to modify anything. On the other hand, if theta is not equal to theta d, then the right-hand side of this equation is not equal to 0, and consequently, theta dot will be increased or decreased. That is, if we didn't achieve the desired direction, we will have to modify theta dot. That is, we will have to rotate our robot. This is the so-called orientation controller. It adjusts the orientation of the robot or the angle theta such that we arrive over here. However, we also need to control the intensity of the velocity and that's very important because the orientation controller actually controls the angle of the velocity vector it cannot control the intensity of the velocity vector to achieve full control we need to control the intensity of the velocity vector vb we do that by using the controller given by the equation number six over here kv is the proportional constant for controlling the robot's velocity. This controller will change the intensity of the velocity. However, it will not change the direction of the velocity. The direction of the velocity vector is changed by using the orientation controller. This controller penalizes the Euclidean distance between the point B and the target point D. The larger the distance is, the larger the magnitude of the velocity vb. As we get closer and closer to the desired position d, the intensity of the velocity will gradually decrease. The orientation and velocity controllers determine the values of theta dot and vb. However, we need to control the angular velocities of the wheels. That is, we need to control phi l dot and phi r dot. To control these angular velocities, we need to transform theta dot and vb into phi l dot and phi r dot. Again, we need to use kinematics equations. We need to use this equation. The equation given over here will transform phi l dot and phi r dot into vb and theta dot. And consequently, to compute phi l dot and phi r dot, we need to invert this equation. And the inversion will produce this equation. This matrix over here depends on the kinematics of our robot. As you can see over here, you can see R over here and you can see S. R is the wheel radius and S is the distance over here. Here's the summary of control algorithm for differential drive robot. In the first step, we observe the robot position X of T and Y of T as well as the robot orientation theta of t. Then, we compute the control actions, that is, we compute theta dot according to this equation and vb according to this equation. In the next step, we compute the desired angular wheel velocities, phi l dot and phi r dot as follows, that is, by using the equation number 10. Once we determine the angular velocities, we need to apply them to the motor controllers. That is, we apply phi l dot and phi r dot to the left and right wheel motor controllers that will generate the torques and that will move the wheels of the differential drive robot in the desired direction. Over here, one very, very, very important thing needs to be emphasized. We are not considering the dynamics of the robot. For us, the complete robot model is described by the kinematics equations, and the kinematics equations are repeated over here. 
We are aware that this is an approximation. However, for robots with small masses and small moments of inertia, this approximation can be sufficiently accurate to design the control inputs. Consequently, in my Python simulation, this model serves as the true physical model of the robot. That is, in our Python simulations, once we compute file dot and fire dot, we will use these quantities in the kinematics equations as the known inputs. That is, file dot is known and fire dot is known. Then we will integrate this system of equations to compute the values of x of t, y of t, and theta of t. And then we will use these values as artificial measurements in the step one of the control algorithm, that is over here. And then we will proceed with this equation, with this equation, and then again we will integrate these equations for the computed values of file dot and fire dot and we will repeat this process recursively.